There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always Welcome. held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out. And keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Awesome. Okay, so now that we have two batteries. Hey, I got it working. Oh, it's him snoring. Oh, God. Like I said, I don't like how I'm feeling right now about all this. All right, to the bathroom, where nothing bad ever happens in the bathroom. Mirror? Uh. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Mirror, mirror on, on the wall. wall. I knew that she was going to say something like that. Who's bound to live a long and happy life in Castle Wow, you got some good prospects. Have lots of ponies. Um, you are Amber, like for toads. What? I knew it. Did that thing talk? <laughs> I don't know. Did it? <laughs> it did. Oh, that's amazing. I love this game. Used for not washing your face, because water is gross in the morning. Not true enough. Use duster for prints, I take it. Um. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Pills? I don't know what these are for, but I'm not allowed to take them. They taste oh. terrible anyways. Wait, why'd you eat them? You're Classic supposed to swallow TV pills. Found in most bathrooms. What's there left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? Towels? Pairs of towels just hanging out. More towels, grooming products. Nah, I'm pretty as it is. <laughs> Lots of creams and intended. I don't really. Cabinet? It's just one of the many cabinets. It's just one. Okay, so painting on the ground. Painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town, eh? You listen here, man. Maybe I'll call you on your debts. I'm confused on what really I was. You know what this is by now, buddy. It's where I take oh, come long on. showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. Hmm. All right. So I only came in here for the duster. Where's the money, Lebow? Wait, what? Where's the money, Lebowski? Nice reference. Anyways, um. So yeah, I only came in here for that. All right, let's exit bathroom. I'm scared to exit rooms now. Oh Jesus Christ. Um. What's happening? What is this, doll? You seeing this? I, I. I don't Have you know seen him I, yet? Yeah, I saw him. That? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night, and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. That... Th uh. <laughs> Let's just move on. Uh, let's go. Parents' room? I haven't even tried to go in my parents' room yet. It's locked. Who, what, what parent locks their room? That seems a little strange to me. Okay, so I've already looked at everything here. Let's go into the hole. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. <laughs> I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me, I have to pass. Uh... See, spiders tend to nest in my fur... And then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. Uh. This hole leads to Flint's room. Go in. T I'm sorry. See, it's a okay. Mess. How do I open it? Then do I have to? Oh, duster. Duh. That's why I got the duster. At least I'm doing everything in order on accident. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. Am I now playing as him, or is he going to go unlock the... Okay. Or is he going to go unlock the door for the me? The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've hmm. come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Under the hard work, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. 
Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole mm. damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the Sounds like a typical summer. That dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, um, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city. And police and is there supposed to be a picture here? Mention his name. They call him the Red Man. Okay. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's How about all the things I've been seeing? Her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to um, admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years. We've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole. Is this the end of the first episode? Because if it is, like, that, that was extremely this short. This I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to if things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Alrighty. Please don't tell me that was the end of the first episode. Okay, good. I was about to say, I'm like, that is extremely short. Let's get the level six sword. I'll just sell this sword, buy some revives for later. Good plan, good plan. I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. Guitar. Reserved for douching out at college. <laughs> okay. An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. There's so many. Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You, you go, go lamp. lamp. You go lamp. Rope. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. No, oh, it's why? It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? I don't know. It looks like something. Random paper. It's a candy bag. Hard shell on the outside. Sweet, Sweet on, on the inside. inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> it reminds me of a add two, three ice cubes, pour some liquor over them, mix it in your stomach, repeat. I call it the Ted trademarked. This this game is maybe. smart. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. We'll have to find another way. Wait, what? Well, this thing really stands out. Yeah, it does. Now let's talk to the mugshot brothers. No lives. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. How you guys doing? I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying, we did or didn't hey, do. Hey, maybe I just wanted so to talk. It. it depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter, didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't oh my do God. put us in the same position I'm going as cross the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't act smart with me, <laughs> lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you two. Heard about the Red you Man? You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days. Hey, see? you also live in the city. That's one of the things about, uh, like, at least how the Mafia used to be. There's a difference between the Mafia and, like, uh, like a fan, like a gang is the freaking Mafia is more like a family. They care about the city somewhat. And so if someone was butchering their city, they would fucking go after them. That's what's kind of throwing this character off is the Red Man. They would want to help. Anyways... Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? Ain't that right, John John? <sighs> smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. Where is Flint Ashworth? Where is Flint Ashworth? 
Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Uh, if he's not here, then yes. I have his two no, tickets. No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on Ice. Oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Well, that's good. Then Shut I'm, up, John. John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. <laughs> it's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. What is M.O.? What, what whoa, does that whoa, mean? Whoa, as I said, we Motive? ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go no. as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. I, I don't know what MO means. So, I wonder why are you here exactly? That's I, I know what like, what it snow. is. Listen like, here, you your MO, your I know typical you ways. On the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face what in the mud, coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful. Or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I'm a detective. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. We're going to the Maybe harbor? What harbor? Maybe he can you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those That's just great Whoops. news, Jimmy. I love it My here. My hand accidentally it's clicked. so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What red man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature. I do. Oh believe. wow! You know wow. who I'm talking about. So stop playing no, dumb. No, uh, wow. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. Okay, forget it. I just I don't just get that. why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on, there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? You remember he's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. Oh. What do you know about him? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. Hmm. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Hmm. Some, some guys just you. want to see the He's the burn. reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? I like him. What the hell are you Seems talking nice. about, John John? John John's nice. Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying <laughs> to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe. Sure thing. There you go. Now, don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now. Thanks See? for the key. Sure. 